We left it off where we passed in some template context of a list and we want to see that actually rendered out. We want to actually look at what that list is in a different format, right? So the format I want to see is something like this. So let's do a UL inside of our template and do a list item. So item one and then close off that list item, list item, item two. Okay. So how would we go about doing this? There's, there's a couple ways that you can do it, but the main way, let, let me say a couple ways that you could do it. One of the wrong way, let's do the wrong way first. The wrong way would be to come in here into your view and render out the list as different variables. So in other words, saying like for item in some list. So let's just do another list here and then doing my context and something like this item a equals to item. Uh, granted, this is not the greatest because it's only going to end with that. But essentially, you don't want to do this. You don't want to go this route. But we are starting to move towards what we want to do in the template. And that is we want to create a for loop within the template. So the templates themselves can have this type, sort of flow. We can actually go into a template and we can run a loop on any given context object or con context variable. So to do that, we would just go ahead and do curly brackets or braces percent four and then some arbitrary you know variable name I'll go ahead and say my sub item in my list and then curly brackets and with templates it is different than Python it's closer to how like HTML would work so if you open a for loop you must close a for loop so there we go we have a way to actually loop through this stuff. And then all I have to do is put a UL on the outside of it and then a LI on the inside of it. And then we can just use those curly brackets again, two braces and do my sub item. And we save that. And what this will do is actually iterate through every single item in my list, assuming that there's stuff in that list. So if I refresh in there, now we see those two new things, right? So we actually see these things that are rated out and they're shown up here. And there are other additional features to looping in here. One of them being like for loop dot counter. And this allows us to see what iteration number we are currently. So if I refresh, I see that it goes one, two, three, right? And granted in my view, if I were to change the order or change the values and even have, you know, ABC strings like that, stuff like that, um, all of that will come through. It's pretty nice. I mean, it allows us to do all sorts of things inside of our template that's based off of what's coming through our view. Now, don't get me wrong. We still aren't seeing data from the database. Like we're still hard coding all of this stuff. Like I do want to work towards where I can actually see data from the database, but there's still a few more things that I want to do with templates and views before we get there. So make sure you subscribe to get everything. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.